how Honda and Toyota will bring rock-solid reliability to the EV world. It is fair to say that Honda and Toyota are a bit late to the electric car party. Toyota currently just has the BZ4X available as a production passenger EV, while Honda has given us the gorgeous but limited e-hatchback, although not available in the US market. But despite this, there is hope that the two Japanese manufacturers will turn things around, and their proven reliability in the IC world suggests things may pick up for them with EVs. The Honda E and the Toyota BZ4 XEV have shown that both manufacturers can produce solid EVs. Honda is bringing the Prologue electrified SUV, the first ever from the manufacturer, and the innovation each company has shown in the past bodes well for the future. The manufacturer's past EVs show they have potential. The Honda E is one of the most intriguing electric cars on the market. A small city car, it comes with a minimal and retro silhouette that makes it look very much like the first-generation Honda Civics. A 152-horsepower RWD drivetrain provides the power for the E, and 232 lb-ft of torque is more than enough for such a small car. The Honda E is a tech haven. The side-view cameras are one particularly strong part of this package, as is the stunning dashboard with its five-screen layout. The aquarium feature is a particular highlight. Unfortunately, this model is not likely to arrive in the US market. The Toyota BZ4X is a very different electric vehicle. The first vehicle in the BZ range, the BZ4X utilizes the Toyota ETNGA platform, shared between it and Subaru's Solterra EV and it comes with a pair of options. The front-wheel drive version provides a 71.4 kWh battery pack with 201 horsepower and 196 lb-ft of torque. The all-wheel drive version meanwhile comes with a 72.8 kWh battery pack with 214 horsepower and 248 lb-ft of torque. This is more performance than the Honda e, but the BZ4X is a big SUV with more range and room than the Honda, aimed at those who want a city car or commuter car. However, both have some dramatic pitfalls. The Honda E is incredibly pricey, starting at a ridiculous $36,000 which is very expensive for a small car. But it gets even more expensive with the low 137 miles of range that the E comes with. Honda claims this is all a lot of people really need, but it's perhaps one reason the car hasn't sold as well as they'd hoped and why they won't bring it to the US market. The range of the BZ4X is also disappointing. With its maximum of 252 miles, it is less than rivals such as the Ford Mustang Mach-E. But the Toyota's biggest problem was the wheels that fell off while driving, thanks to a lack of sufficient clamping force between the wheel bolts and the wheel hub. Toyota's first ever electric vehicle was a bit of a mess. Toyota's first ever EV, the RAV4 EV, was fully discontinued back in 2014, but it was a model that was a little bit of a mess. The first generation was from 1997 to 2003, the second coming from 2012 to 2014 and that second generation saw just 2,600 sold. Only 1,484 examples of the first generation appeared, and it's notable how easily forgotten the model is. Very little was actually changed from the ICE RAV4 to the electric version, and its limited range of just over 100 miles meant it wasn't ideal for longer journeys. That same short range has blighted the Honda E, and the asking price is quite steep with the E Advance model topping out at $40,000. To put that into context, the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 5 EV starts out at $41,450 with at least 250 miles of range with the potential to go up to 303 miles. But yet despite the shortcomings of their first EVs, Honda and Toyota look likely to make big gains in the future. Honda and Toyota have strong EVs in the pipeline. Honda is responding to the criticism of the Honda E by launching the much larger and competitively priced Prologue for 2024, with it set to start at roughly $45,000 and provide seating for five people comfortably. Remarkably, the Prologue shares its platform with the five-seater Chevrolet Blazer EV, and that has proven to be a solid offering from the General Motors company. Images show the generous room Honda put in the cabin area, and it's certainly a step in the right direction as is the expected range of 250 to 320 miles. Despite the wheel issues, Toyota has made big steps to fix the problem and make the BZ4X a more dependable electric SUV.
the company introduced an all-new wheel bolt that fixed the issue. However, what is even more exciting is what Toyota might have in the future. An electric Supra is one EV reportedly in the pipeline, and it's also set to bring back the Celica as well. New Toyota boss Koji Sato and chairman Akio Toyota both have a passion for the Celica.